Well, today Apple had just talked about and just released some new software and some new hardware to the Mac app family and I'm extremely excited about it and one of the things that they talked about was the app nap and I just wanted to let you know that you are able to get the app nap right now today well sort of kinda anyway well anyway what it does is basically if you've ever been like me I consider myself a space cadet to where you know uh, I'm always watching my CPU and over here I'm using an application called uh, geek tool and you can see right here with geek tool I'm able to have a daily scripture that changes every 10 minutes right on my desktop and at one point in time I have my CPU and all my um, data on my desktop and it would just drive me crazy to see that you know my RAM would be eaten halfway up sometimes it really wouldn't even be an issue with performance or speed however you know I just did not like it seeing boggled all the way down so one of the things that Apple is offering is that app nap to where if you're not using that application the CPU will go away well here's an application right here you can get from the app Mac App Store called App Tamer and what it does is pretty much the same thing so right here this application what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and put him on timeout um, if you just check that box right there you'll notice that the application goes you know to uh, overlay there to where it's not up and running anymore and you see the red right here as far as it's not running when we come back over here and just select this application you can see where the app is now running because we're actually using it my twitter over here has been on a timeout for a while here and you know i just wanted to definitely show you how you can kind of keep your cpu if we go back over here to twitter and we select the Twitter application here you can see how much CPU is using how much RAM is using using zero CPU and the cool thing about this application app tamer well, you can go over here to my processes right here and you can see everything that's running in the background so let me go ahead and pop this back up right here real fast and as you can see right here everything that's running in the background right now so there's a lot of applications depending on each other there's things that you're not necessarily looking at um, right in front of you right now but it is using CPU CPU and it is kind of slowing your computer down. So if you're a heavy user in reference to um, Final Cut, iMovie, anything of that nature, um, we can go ahead and we can slow down some applications to not use any RAM at all to where we're able to you know quickly move through that application that uh, we're needing to move through. So as I go back over here, I have Safari and I can go ahead and shut it down in reference to I'm not using Safari because I'm making a tutorial right now so this is a great application to you know um, control your CPUs and your RAM and all that good stuff right there and you'll notice right here my Twitter um, I really haven't been paying attention but even though I have it timed out here you'll notice that every once in a while it still will update please be aware that your applications will not necessarily update um, if you have them timed out so when I come over here and I update it now and I go over here and flip it up um, I might get some you know some new tweets or whatever the case may be however it just will not update as frequently if we go back over here to um, you know the the browser here if you have an application or if you're watching a movie f to say your movie more than likely will pause by using app tamer so that's just a few things to be aware of other than that you know this is over here in the Mac app store you know go download it go check it out um, and just let me know if this right here is a pretty good tool to use for now until the fall where Apple releases uh, you know Maverick the new operating system that pretty much does this and once it gets done with this and it does this I'm gonna you know I really don't use it that often anyway because you know the application itself takes up CPU however you know I am looking forward to the new software to come around in reference to doing it all by itself versus having to depend on another application to do it for me so other than that um, you know um, please be aware of all the links below in the description and I will talk to you guys later. All right. Bye-bye now.